guys, John here at LearningGuitarNow.com. And in this lesson, we're gonna take a look at a major 12 bar blues solo, uh, similar to the last uh, lesson I put out. But this time I'm gonna be using open E tuning slide guitar. And it's kind of the style of uh, Derek Trucks and Dwayne Allman. And I think this uh, solo is really cool to learn because it only uses the major scale and uh, major scale seems to have a really vocal like quality to it. And especially if you're playing slide guitar. We'll go ahead and take a look at the first couple licks for free. And if you would like to learn uh, the entire solo, uh, check out the all access pass. Uh, you also gain access to the interactive tab and backing track for this lesson. When you become a member, you'll also gain access to all the core open E tuning slide guitar lessons that I've created. Uh, if you have trouble muting the strings when playing slide, uh, you don't know where to go, uh, how to play scales and open E tuning, just the things that you need to take note of uh, to sound great when playing slide guitar and open E tuning in the style of Dwayne Allman and Derek Trucks. Let's go ahead and start this lesson. Okay, now I'm gonna break this solo down for you into eight separate licks. Once again, this is a 12 bar blues. Uh, we're utilizing all major chords. It's uh, E, A, and B, one, four, and five, playing in a six, eight time signature. And we're utilizing open E tuning for this slide guitar solo. Okay, so lick one sounds like this. Okay, so that is lick number one uh, coming in uh, right on the downbeat uh, over the E chord, the one chord, and performing a rake right before we strike the note. Ninth fret right here on the B string, and uh, that note is a major third uh, in the key of E, so it sounds great to uh, start off this major blues. That's a you know, if you're playing an E major chord, the third, the major third is a crucial note within that chord. So it sounds great to go ahead and just slide into that note. Uh, sounds really good over, like I said, the E chord. So we're sliding into the ninth fret of the B string. Just kind of let it hang and vibrato a little bit. And doing this cool little pattern uh, straight from the major scale, got nine, seven, five here. So, and I'm just striking it once. And then about on the sixth count, so this is six, eight blues, so we're counting it one, two, three, four, five, six, and that's one bar. So one bar will be one, two, three, four, five, six. And about on the sixth uh, count, we're uh, sliding backwards, only striking this once on the ninth fret, and then going backwards to seven, and backwards to five, and that's our root note here. Uh, this is E on the B string. Uh, next step is we're gonna have a rest, and about on the next bar, the fifth count, we're gonna do another rake. And kind of gradually slide into the 12th fret of the B string. Then add some vibrato. I'm using my thumb as an anchor point, point to, uh, so I can vibrato a little bit easier. You know, just anchoring down that thumb uh, behind the neck and uh, putting my pressure uh, against the middle of the neck, but having that is like an anchor so I can uh, get some force behind it. Uh, for more about vibrato and raking, please check out Slide Guitar Method 1 Open E Tuning. So I hit 12th fret on the B string, raked, vibrato, and then I'm gonna let it hang into the next bar. And then on the fourth count of the next bar, I'm gonna do this cool little major pentatonic phrase. It's just a must know open E tuning for playing major style licks. So utilizing the sixth interval here, you'll hear this a ton in vocal type uh, guitar licks. Derek Trucks are wear this kind of stuff out. Slide in 12 to 14 then strike the 12th fret after you slide it once. So got, now slide into the 12th fret of the G sharp string twice. Now I'm gonna go back and forth with 12, and then 12, this is the previously A string. Now we're talking about this is a B string now. And this was a D string, but we're calling it an E string now. 
then vibrato that twelfth fret on the uh, the E string here. So that little phrase slowly. It's just a great little major sounding phrase that you can play pretty much over any style blues. Uh, it'll sound good to give you more of that major style sound. Would work good over slow blues, uh, shuffle blues, you can use that anywhere. This is, I like to call this the money position. 12th fret, this is the key that we're in. The low string, uh, 12th fret is E and straight across open E money position. And that's a good little phrase in that position. So that's it for lick one. Okay, lick two sounds like this. Okay, so that is lick number two. Uh, what's happening with it is that we're about to approach the four chord, the A chord, and I'm doing this a uh, little arpeggio here, uh, right on the 12th fret, it's going 12, 12, 12 on the G sharp, the B, and the high E string, and immediately going to the 14th fret of the uh, high E string. And then right when I strike the next note, which is gonna be the 14th fret again, the A chord is happening. Sounds really cool, uh, that is a, uh, a major six interval here over the A chord. An easier way to think about it is just use the money position, move up two frets on the high E string, and that sounds cool over a four chord. More theoretical dissection of it. It's the major six if you're thinking about it over the uh, A chord. So that A chord money position, seventh fret of the B string, same as here. Just gives it a really airy kind of a sound uh, when you use that major six. You don't hear this kind of stuff in a lot of R&B singer vocal type licks. So we've done that, let that hang, and then we're about on the sixth count of this bar, we go back to 12 on the B and E. We hit this uh, 12 and 12 on the uh, B and high E. Now slide into 12 and vibrato it. And then we're gonna fall back to nine, seven. So you got, and it's easy to get off pitch when you're sliding directly to those. That quickly like that. So you wanna play always above the fret. I usually like to use my second finger as a guide finger when doing stuff like that. Another tip is you don't have to put the slide over all the strings when you're only playing the high E string. Uh, to get a more Derek Trucks type sound, put that slide, you know, just cover maybe the B and E, or maybe only the high E. I like to use the second finger as a guide, and then I use my uh, slide just covering maybe the bottom or the bottom two. And then, you know, you can get around a lot easier. Sounds really uh, cool. But you have to get um, on pitch when you're doing licks like that. So just practicing. You kind of put a little bit of a pressure when you get to the point that you want to be at. So I'm at 12, 9, 7 here. Pressure down with my arm on the 9. Pressure down with my arm on the 7. In between, I'm sliding, so I'm not putting the pressure down. If you put the pressure down when you get above the fret, uh, it's gonna emphasize that note. But you just have to practice over and over again. It's kind of a tough thing to get if you're not used to playing that. So for lick two, we had this. And now we're going back to that little money spot. But instead of playing the 12th fret on the G sharp string, we're just gonna utilize the major third on the B string, ninth fret. So knowing, you know, the couple different places where different notes are at is highly crucial when playing any type of guitar. So I know my major third is on the 12th fret of the G sharp string. And then I know my major third is on the ninth fret of the B string. 
totally different sound to me. Thinner, deeper. It's so easy to hear that. So knowing multiple places where the same intervals or notes are at is highly crucial in learning any kind of guitar style. So uh, that's lick number two, really uh, some uh, crucial things to learn in it. Okay, well that does it for this lesson. Uh, like I said previously, if you would like access to the full lesson, uh, as well as the interactive tab and backing track, check out the all access pass. Uh, in addition, you'll have full access to all the open E tuning slide guitar lessons I've recorded. Uh, they give you the tools to learn how to play slide guitar because there's a lot of technique involved. And uh, I want to show you exactly how to mute the strings, how to do raking, vibrato, uh, you know, just everything to give you the tools required to play in the style of uh, Dwayne Allman and uh, Derek Trucks. Okay, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.